Twist Amp Basic Kit. Before starting, please ensure that you're wearing the correct protective garments required for your workplace. The equipment that you will require prior to starting your experiment are pipettes, pipette tips, 1.5 milliliter tubes with an appropriate rack, sterile distilled water, your primers, your templates, a centrifuge, a vortex, a pair of scissors, and a permanent marker pen. Open your Twist Amp basic kit. Inside the box you'll find a license card, a quick reference guide, an instruction manual on CD, 96 reactions vacuum sealed in strips of 8 0.2 milliliter tubes, positive control DNA, primers, magnesium acetate, and four aliquots of primer-free rehydration buffer. In order to run your twist amp basic reactions, you'll need to heat them. You can do this using a hot block, water bath, thermal cycler, or heated plate reader. We'll be using a twister for this experiment. Switch on your heat source so that it reaches the desired temperature. Set this temperature to somewhere between 37 to 39 degrees centigrade. Write down your master mix recipe so that you ensure you make enough master mix for all your reactions, with some in excess. Label a tube for your master mix. In your master mix tube, add your primers. Rehydration buffer and water. Vortex and centrifuge. Label your 1.5 milliliter tubes for each of your reactions. Now add your master mix into these tubes. Add the relevant template to your different reactions, closing the lids on the 1.5 milliliter tubes as you go along. Vortex and Centrifuge. Label a tube for your positive control reaction. In your positive control reaction tube, add the positive control primer mix. Rehydration buffer. water and positive control DNA. Vortex and centrifuge this mix. Take the sealed foil reaction pouch, open a strip with your scissors. 
Take out your strip of twist stamp XO reactions and mark one end using the permanent marker pen so that you can orientate the strip. Place the strip of tubes in a suitable rack and remove the lids. Then place the lids inverted next to the strip. Add 47.5 microliters of your first reaction and mix with the first freeze dried reaction. Pipette to mix. Repeat for your remaining reactions and positive controls. Add 2.5 microliters of the magnesium acetate supplied with the kit to the inverted strip caps. Place the caps on the tubes. Centrifuge the strip of tubes and vigorously invert 8 to 10 times to mix. Centrifuge and place in your heating device. And start a timer for 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, remove the tubes and vigorously invert 8 to 10 times to mix. Centrifuge and replace into your heating device. Continue incubation for a further 16 minutes. Now the reaction is complete. It's advisable to clean up the products using standard molecular biology techniques such as phenyl chloroform extraction and purification or a column-based purification kit. This gel has been loaded with positive and negative RPA reactions that have either been cleaned up on the left or have not been cleaned up on the right. As you can see, cleaning up the DNA results in a cleaner gel with better resolution of the RPA product. For some reactions, the smearing can be more extreme than shown here. In all instances, you may observe, as with PCR, formation of primer dimers. This is nothing to be concerned about.